All right. Hello, Dr. Powell and everyone that's going to watch this video. My name is Justin Henry. I'm going to be presenting about the Excel for Marketers course on HubSpot Academy presented by uh, uh, Go Skills. It's a uh, this company right here. It's a, uh, a learning company that has a plethora or an extension of this course of, of the Excel courses. There's a, van a lot more advanced courses that um, as you progress through and that you may need to use as a marketer or in a, any role that you need. Um, there, there's a lot of courses that you can do for, uh, to further your education, um, and the Excel techniques and other courses as well. Um, so my initial thoughts going into this video or going into this course rather is the, I thought it was going to be the most basic of the basic of Excel. Um, pretty much the, all the shortcuts that you can expect uh, to learn about, all the steps that, that need to be done about importing, you know, putting, putting in data, analyzing and, and visualizing just like the sections show because those are actually the steps that um, it takes to create great, great data, great visualization and be able to analyze for anyone to be able to read and do it at an efficient pace. And the first section that I want to talk about is first section, which is the work working with data in Excel. This section right here started off was about importing the data and this is initially just copying and pasting data and and um when you import data you can copy and paste it or get it from a file and drag it in there and the data comes in and sometimes it may come in very sloppy as shown as I'm, i can in, confirm uh, that in in this section right here it is shown just together with commas and they took the liberty of using convert to text and putting it together to declutter it. And how they did that is by delimiting, which separates it by commas or when there's text separated by commas or tabs. And you may have to make sure to select um, which ones, which one is correct. And what I thought about this is actually I never actually knew how to declutter this kind of data. I just thought it was for the format was different, especially I have a MacBook. So I just thought it makes things difficult when there's different processors or different processors or different computer types um, or different applications that aren't up to date or the same, uh, same uh, application year. So I thought, you couldn't fix data like that. You just had to find a way to get each each part of the data in there individually. This definitely makes things a lot faster for me to create um, exceptionally looking data. And that was just one example. There were several shortcuts within the video. I, I had no idea about the click shift down or any of the arrow keys that are going to be shown in the rest of the the video, I had no idea about about those steps, and also creating aesthetically pleasing data, just from the dates or even having blank lines in in certain data that you can sort sort them out and and create each line in line with each other to create aesthetically pleasing data. I, I had no idea that um, that was even possible, just, and it's definitely way faster than just going into each each cell and clicking 
backspace or deleting each cell that's blank or going into the date section right here and and fixing um fixing that just by the click of a button just like on a short date um so I, I believe that was very good information to to give us and I'm gonna spend a lot of time talking about importing data and having good data because I feel like that's the most important part. Um, obviously, analyzing it is a skill in itself, but having data that is able to be read is the most important part of this. And I believe not most of the most of the minutes are spent analyzing, but I just feel the the importance of learning how to create good data and and having something to analyze is very important it's just so everyone that needs to read is able to read good data uh, so this next section using count ifs um, count if and count if I pretty much I pretty much I've used I've used count if and count ifs before um, nothing really new that I I, I didn't know before. Other than the, again, the shortcuts that we use, the command, uh, command T, I thought I had a, I had a PC before. I thought that was the only part um, you could, you, you can only use that on PCs. I didn't know about the command T function where you can have everything you need to stay in place. And, and then merging the data with XLOOKUP or VLOOKUP. XLOOKUP is new for me. I've used VLOOKUP before. Um, I was, I believe uh, you can use either one. You can, uh, it doesn't really matter which one you use. Using, using VLOOKUP or XLOOKUP is probably one step shorter because you get the exact match if that's what you need to do. So you don't need to put anything extra or any of the optional items in there. Um, as for VLOOKUP, you have to put um, a one or a two or whatever section is gonna be from, you can, uh, you can, use, you can use that um, to create. But either one, you can't go wrong. It gives you the information contextualizes the information that you need uh, very quickly. So on to the next section, which is analyzing data in Excel. So I love I love this section because it truly does make life easier, you, you know, creating tables and being able to sort sort these filters in. And I've I've had people ask me before what a pivot table is used when they can just use a filter. I'm like, it just, I just tell them it makes it even easier when you know how to create a great pivot table with good data. You can, you can uh, format it to your liking and be able to have the important things that you want to see for that section uh, for what you need. So when creating a table, Everybody knows simple steps to you know format a table, you gotta highlight. Uh oops, apologize. You gotta highlight everything you need using the control uh shift arrow key. Create the table right here. We mess around with design, but we're not going to talk about that just yet. And you can rename the table, and you can see you can sort right here. Um, it goes more into sorting as well. And I actually do wish in this it was more of an interactive uh, course. I know it's the most basic course, and it's for very beginners just to see what they don't know and do know. But I feel like in order for someone to really know what they're doing, they should be practicing it. And I know I did it myself 
and I've used this before. I did it myself. And um, but I feel like an interactive slide, it gives like instead of just these quick quizzes, the interactive slides allow you to really physically use the the Excel application and and learn and be able to really test out each step. And what I did learn was when creating something like a new new uh, column or a row, you can you can add, enter anything and it go down and it, once you put that in the cell, it creates it for all the cells I, which I didn't know. Um, I actually never actually truly notice I always drag drag the flow button I either dragged it I didn't know you could double click it I, I tried that uh, while using uh, or while doing this course. Like I said, the filters, I like I like using pivot tables when I filter, even though this is a very simplified way if I had to show someone that's very beginner that doesn't truly understand the pivot tables, I can definitely go back to my table tab and um, show them from here. But I do prefer pivot tables from there. Um, only thing is you just have to make sure you you refresh. Um, pivot tables make make things a lot easier to filter. It gives you gives you a concise focus to focus on um, when you when you're looking for specific uh, variables that you're trying to trying to see. Also, using I've never used the slicer before. I did not attempt to try and use it yet. Um, I'm I'm used to just using the pivot table filters in here, but um, as you can see, it it seems like you can just click through and select and deselect exactly what you want. It's very quick, it appears to be, but I like very you know step by step and me being able to drag in like control it like that and and see my columns and rows very easily. <laughs> And then conditional formatting that was that was different for me. I've never I've never used it. I've actually never seen conditional formatting before. Uh, you can you can see right here. Just make sure your values when it's greater greater than or equal to according to this conditional format and by this rule, um, that you have the right values. Otherwise, you're gonna you aren't gonna have the correct arrows or the, or the right icons to show your data correctly. Um, but you just have to make sure your rules are as follows. It goes throughout the whole data. You don't have to refresh like a pivot table. It goes throughout as soon as you click it and press OK. And I think it's a it's a good way to visualize the data. I know people are very visual. Me, I myself am very visual. So I think it's a great way to for people to see see this other than numerically. Uh, and using charts where uh, yeah, using charts, bar charts, line charts, you it's very straightforward. I usually go to recommended charts, just like the video said. Uh, it's a very basic way of going. It usually gives the AI, usually gives a great uh, option to use for the for uh, the charts. But if not, you can still search. There's a lot of charts to pick from. You can ends up coming out to something that you like. And I like using, I did like the way they use the slicer I would rather have in in this video um to uh be able to show oops um go from like the pivot table to create everything that you need um pivot shape you know you can use the pivot chart as well which I like I said before I like using a pivot chart step by step but it's great to see that you can use the slicer. I'm I'm definitely gonna try and use that in um future projects.
I have, and then creating a dashboard from a chart. I've never had to use use it for a map before. Um, it gives, like I said, it gives a great visual um, because people are very visual. I like the step by step that that um, was shown for these, and um, it definitely gives people um, a faster and more efficient way of getting through all of these. And uh, and again, I like all the quizzes. They're great, great. The question, you know, you, you get in what you put out. But my thing is uh, there should be interactive slides still. Uh, or, yeah, interactive slides, interactive Excel. The, the resources that were used there it should be a link that you can follow along with it. I definitely honestly it might even go faster or it might take a little bit longer, but people will learn it a lot faster and will retain the information a lot easier. And then using the Power Query, um, I'm having I'm I am having some trouble um fully understanding it. I I understand it in a, um in an IBM concept with Watson Studio and plugging in the data like that. I believe it's like that. Um, again, I haven't, I did not get to try this setting yet because like I, I'm very hands-on, but if it's able to automate data like this um, and it tracks what you applied, the steps that you applied, um, it's very, I believe that's going to be a very, a very fast way of applying your data and you can control data better still have filters. So it's a, I feel like it's a step that's going to take some time to learn, but once you're willing to learn and you learn it, um, it's only, it only gets faster from there. So in conclusion, uh, I completed the course. Uh, I believe, you know, this is for the basic of the, of the basics, um, nothing too advanced. There are, like I said, with goskills.com, there are more advanced uh, courses that you can do from them. And I, I definitely recommend. All right, everyone. Uh, all right, Dr. Powell, uh, thank you for watching the video. And have a great one.